Hey everyone and welcome to an episode of Models Workshop. Um, sorry there's no intro or anything else yet. Still working on getting the computers all running and the software running. For some reason uh, my CD-ROM didn't want to work on this laptop so I will have to work on it. So I'm still kind of working on some of the bugs. and uh, please bear with me as I do zooming. Uh, what I'm going to be talking about today is a review of Mink Studio's recent Kickstarter. I've got the Minotaur and I've got the Wizard. I actually have another Wizard too. Um, my personal one and then my friend who ordered one to do kind of a diorama deal. So the models are in and I haven't taken them out of the plastic yet so that we're going to be doing that just in a moment but my first knee-jerk reaction is these are really really nice um, and I have to say that I'm really pleased with the quality of them Alex and his team did an exceptional job of doing these models so let's bust the Minotaur open mr. big big guy yeah, my buddy uh, Fire Minotaur from back in Col of City of Heroes. So of course he did this Kickstarter. Um, if you've seen any pictures of the dwarf that I did a real quick job on, that was for his D&D game. So this is a return. And let's see if we can get the autofocus to go. There we go. This is the Minotaur. As you can tell, he's a really highly detailed model. Um, a little bit of mold line issues on the horn, running down the neck and the shoulder pad. Nothing that's not repairable, of course. It runs down through here. No major air bubbles that I can see. A little bit of mold line issues on this side too. Nothing that a little bit of uh, filing and sandpaper can't take care of. Get a little bit more light on him. Uh, find that nice balance of enough light and not too much light. Uh, there's the Minotaur and you get a nice decorative base with it. And he's going to be stepping up, so I believe it's something I earned this number right here. Um, also included is a regular base. We've seen those. Um, and then the stuff that goes on his hand and in his back. The sword, his bow, quiver. And then the chain, if you've seen the model, he's whipping a chain around from his neck. Mm, this is going to take a little bit of work to get. But, no, we're all too bad. Um, now, I will say that the details on the model are exceptional. They're great. A uh, little bit of mold line issues, but nothing that we can't work around. The uh, detail on detail on all the accessories look really nice. Overall, it's a really nice model. He's huge too. Um, let's see. Here's an old howling banshee that I have laying around, and you can see he's tall. He's a big old boy. They say he's a 50 some millimeter model, and he is every bit of uh, 50 something millimeters. So that's the Minotaur. And there's all the pieces. Um, next guy up is the Wizard. I wish I had the full line to show you, but I just I don't. I, actually, I only got one model. I just happen to be painting some for my buddy as well. Um, he got several of them, but we can get a good idea of what's what's on the up with just these. And this guy looks like he's a single pour sprue. Uh, once again, detail is nice. There is some flash issues uh, that you're going to end up having to clean up. 
like right there there's a separation in the mold actually that one looks intentional must have had an issue with that foot boring properly or that leg boring properly so you're gonna end up having to do that and they did end up doing some pours into some relatively delicate areas like his finger so you gotta be really careful on that um, as you can see the finger and then the connection down here on the leg here's the other one once again you got a little bit of flashing issues um, now you got a mold line right here on the cape if you can see and that one's going to take some filling I don't think so. eh, you might be able to get away with some sanding since it's on cloth but it's a pretty good size one uh, luckily none of the mold lines like that appeared on any areas like the head or the legs or the hands or we'd probably be act or we'd probably be returning this model uh, the other hand looks good the little fireballs that he's juggling are really nice too once again you got some of that wispy mold line stuff um, let's see because this is the same model I got now mine has a little bit of an issue with mold lines on the pants and stuff but it's not as bad as that one so no overall once you get this model cleaned up and based and everything else I think he's gonna be just totally and completely awesome looking um, these aren't the best models that I've seen in the world but they're far from the worst ones either uh, so honestly top quality hmm I do see I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's a poor error looks like it's on purpose it's probably where the the, the fireballs mount or something a little hole in the book the other one has it too so we'll figure it out uh, overall not the best quality models I've ever seen um, but better than well above average you know to get much better than this you're gonna be going into boutique miniatures that are uh, they cost fifty sixty dollars a piece and I do believe retail on these on this particular model is like fourteen dollars, fifteen dollars. So for the price of the model, um, definitely you're getting more than you you would be expecting. Some great details, some great poses. They're well sculpted. That Minotaur I know is a lot more, but I mean he's also massive. Uh, I just noticed a big mold line on his rib cage. That's disappointing. That's gonna be interesting to take care of because it's where the ribs are too so you're going to pretty much have to scrape it out and then make sure that the ribs are still defined so that's slightly disappointing but it's to be expected it's what happens whenever you're dealing with two-part molds but there you go there's a quick review of a couple models for uh mink studio hope you enjoy uh, we will be working on getting like an intro and some other stuff going here really soon um, and also, I'll be posting up some videos as I paint these guys, too. So, uh, looking forward to the next time. This is Jen24 from Models Workshop, signing out.